Hi, we're here with Bill Hershey, and he is the Bucket Man. And how long have you been making buckets, Bill? My family's been making them in, out of Hingham since 1635. I've just uh, started remaking buckets for the last 15 years. Wow, and, um, and did you learn from your family? Learned from my grandfather back in the day, taught me a little bit, and then I never really thought I was going to go anywhere, and now here I am making buckets, and people buy my buckets in Hingham and the historic areas, which is nice. I'm all word of mouth. I'm in the Hingham uh, Historical Society. So what's this? What are you doing here? This I'm just working on, uh, trying to come up with a template for a Christmas tree collar. I've just been seeing that there's a lot of metal ones around right now, and the bucket theme in Hingham, since Hingham is known as Bucket Town. Oh, it I, is? Yep. Oh, and so because of your family? Because of the five founding families that were all intermarried, so we're all family, but all five founding families were bucket makers, and that's all we did is produce buckets, so whatever you do, you would use Tupperware for nowadays, back in the 17th century, you'd use a Hersey bucket. Wow, and so is this a normal size? No, this is just the first one. I just made this last night, just trying to get my bands down so then, then I can perfect the circumference and make sure everything is symmetrical. And I'm sure you have more tools than what your family originally had. Yes, I do have quite a, quite a bit of tools. <laughs> and you make them all out here. Yes, I do. And here and in the other room. In the other in the room. room. And this is wow. where I do all my cutting. All your cutting. And do you, when you... How are they put together? Do you glue them? Do you no, glue? it's it's a butt joint, okay. just a flat piece of wood together with a little angle on it, and they're just held together by these bands. The bottom is a little fatter than the top, so it's a little conical shape. So the band goes around just like a belt, and you push it down and pulls everything together. Wow, and are they always all natural? Yes. Well, no, I'm sorry, they're not always all natural. Normally I put linseed oil on okay, them. Okay, to preserve them? To preserve them. Yeah. Wow, and I see you've got a lot of tools up here that look like you have a lot of, a lot of tools for turning. Yeah? A lot of turning, making the pins for my buckets that hold the, the handle on. So you make everything? Yes, I do. Wow. Start to finish. Wow. I make okay. five different sizes from 13 inch all the way down to a three inch bucket. Well, I think it's pretty special you're continuing your family's yep. tradition. I mean, that's it was William Mercy. It was what? William Mercy that was the founding father of Hingham. Oh, and that's really? what I'm named after. And then I have my son, William Mercy Jr. Oh, you have a, oh. Yep. I have wow. a son and daughter. Wow. They that's... both love working in the shop. Oh, they do? Yep. Well, I have videos you... of them working with me. Ah, uh, how old? My daughter is uh, 12 and my son is 14. Oh, those are good Those are the buckets age. that they've been working on. Oh, there. look at that. Those oh, wow. Well, you've certainly got a whew, lot of tools here. Yes, I do. And do you make anything else but buckets? Well, I'm, I am a carpenter. I, I'll make okay. small, like, hutches and bedside tables and little yeah, just little things like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> how, close is, how close is your process to how your grandfather made the buckets? Or great-grandfather? Um, pretty much spot on, except for a couple of modifications where I don't have to saw my own lumber and I don't have to go out and crack my logs. I go to the lumber yard and pick up the rough sawn lumber. Whereas before, my family would Go cut on. all their own lumber and whatnot. So there, I get to save a couple of hours and a lot of backbreaking work. Cool. Uh, yes, I would think yeah. so. But you've got the saws in case you need oh, to. Yeah, I have, yeah well, <laughs> that's the other thing. Hersey Land, we owned three quarters of Hingham back in the early 80s. Well, well homes, we had 84 homes with wow. land landowners in up until the early 80s and I would cut all the trees and that's where it would make all my buckets. Oh, so from the trees? Yeah, so so you, oh, you have done that then. Yep, all my wood comes from Hingham for wow. these buckets. Wow, so they're just, definitely Hingham buckets. Yep. Very good. Well, thank you very much. A fire bucket. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And this is the traditional well bucket. Uh -huh. Look at this one. Like what that. kind of wood is that? That is all the same wood. What did you so do? Burn? burn? Yes, I just burned it. I just burned it. That is cool. That, that I like. I like them all. Very pretty.